Sasriya Ka. I'm not even Punjabi, but eh, that's me, you know. Random. I am random. Well, that channel is called The Random, right? So, random. Anyways, uh, it's just bothering me that uh, people are not taking this seriously. This about this inflation uh, or recession, they say it's coming. Uh, uh, I don't know. Do Am I making this video that uh, because I care? Or I'm making for myself because I'm just, you know, like, uh, just bothering me that people are not taking it seriously. I have no idea. Maybe I do care. Maybe I don't. Maybe everyone can go to hell. Who cares? Uh, but, well, mainly, obviously, you know, I want to protect my family. Uh, I could be wrong, you know, about all this, this recession coming up. I could be wrong. But, uh, you know, that's the, if that's the worst thing that's going to happen, that I'm wrong, then, uh, hey, I'll just admit that I'm wrong but if I'm not then uh, I'm prepared right so better to be prepared than sorry safe than sorry yeah I'm like it took a while for people to realize that World War two I don't know about World War one but World War two uh, People took time to realize, certain countries, they took years to realize that this is serious, right? So, obviously, this is, uh, uh, this is probably human nature. Uh, and, uh, so, uh, I'm like, all the things that's been happening for the past two, three years, uh, now, then what's happening now, and what's gonna happen later, uh, it's just the uh, same cycle, all the bad policies, the same propagandas that's harming people, harming citizens. Uh, it's gonna happen. It already happened. I don't mean, like people already say about the uh, war between. Uh, people already warned about what was gonna happen with COVID, and it happened. People warned about the war between uh, Russia and Ukraine, and it happened. People warned about Sri Lanka, it happened. And, you know, the reasons why, you know, I, I don't think I can even mention all these things because of the new bill C-11 in Canada. I don't think I can even mention C-11. Who cares? I'm just a small guy in the internet that no one knows, so I don't think it will affect me. So, maybe. Who cares? I'll just say whatever I'm doing. So, anyways, uh, C, the, the bill C-11, uh, yeah. Can talk about a lot of things, you know. Uh, if the government doesn't like it, they will censor it. Yeah, so I cannot say COVID probably. So yeah, COVID, uh, gas prices. Uh, the problem. Uh, people are not thinking uh, that this, this is seriously. They, they, wh what I think people should do is that sub uh, uh, supply, uh, fill up their pantry with. Uh, with food, you know, the food that can last for uh, months, canned food and all that stuff. In case when the price goes super high and can afford it. And uh, uh, the poor countries, poor people are going to suffer. Uh, obviously, Canada and the United States and certain European countries, we are rich countries, so uh, most of the people are going to be okay, um, but it will be affected as well. Uh, and uh, yeah, a lot of people are going to get handouts from the government again. And it's going to be the same cycle of inflation in circle. And that's what the government wants, right? People depending on the government. Yeah, so that's going to be the same cycle. Uh, I'm like, people are looking at Sri Lanka and still not asking the question why this is happening. You know, next to what's uh, it's going to be Pakistan. And another country seems like it's gonna be Pakistan next yeah. slowly and people losing uh, power and they're gonna lose less freedom yeah that's basically what it is and all these problems are gonna hit and uh, there's gonna be what shortage of uh, Electricity, maybe, uh, for some countries, uh, including Canada and United States. So I'm in Quebec, so we we have abundance of electricity with uh, with uh, what the heck is this? Abundance of electricity. So most likely we'll be fine, but I'm still gonna get a power generator. 
for my house, you know, just in case. Uh, solar power, uh, maybe. You know, I hear solar power power is actually pretty good for individual houses, but not in bigger scale for a whole country or a city or a town. But for individual use, I think it's pretty good. It seems complicated. I'll have to do my research. Yeah, most likely I have to work more hours just in case to keep up. Ah, uh, yeah. And the uh, internet outage might even happen, you know. And we're in a, especially in the U.S., uh, it's in the middle of the election. Uh, so yeah, when an election happens, there's going to be some whole other drama, protest, uh, chaos again, and all this. And all these things are coming in Canada because people in Canada too are starting to. Uh, realize that they are losing more rights more freedom and uh, then the people are going, then other people are going to say look we're free what are you complaining about uh, then uh, then they're going to start to notice one thing after another that yeah not everybody has experienced the same thing right so uh, so yes some people are going to be just be like uh, yeah not some, some people actually uh, huge majority of people in Canada are, are still going to believe that we are fine, we are free, uh, nothing's wrong, government is good, you know, government uh, helping us is, uh, is uh, more important than we help each other, uh, that uh, we are not capable of helping each other, we are a root of all evil, we are destructive, you know, government should control us, you know, some people still believe that, some people, the majority of people in Canada still believe that. So, and then people turns this into left, right. What the heck is this left wing, right wing? What the hell? You know, then the, suddenly Can Canadians starting to have, people are starting to say Can Canada has uh, white supremacy. All these things start in the United States and now suddenly Canada is like that? Wow, like how, just because some people want freedom, you know, they realize that uh, we are losing freedom. Like really, huh? Then Justin Trudeau calling us, calling uh, the Punjabis or uh, Indians uh, terrorists because you know so they want to protest. You know, even like the Punjabis uh, are starting to hate this Jitmeet Singh guy. You know, he does look fake to me. Anyways, so yeah, internet outage could happen too judging from what happened uh, that's that I could say that's probably just conspiracy I, I don't know how much of that is true when the internet was out for like about three days damn it's like living in a third world country so who knows what was that what was that about maybe it was an attack maybe a cyber attack or maybe it was nothing maybe uh, it is our government who knows but yeah I'll be expecting intern outage as well. Uh, maybe it could be for election. The next, uh, maybe, what is the next election in Canada? Next three years? Maybe two years from now? I don't know. Gotta look that up again for that. So yeah, maybe it's gonna be for that reason that they're preparing something for election, you know? cut up the internet and say oh there was a glitch and then change stuff maybe maybe not maybe to block some news when something gets out just shut everything down before it gets out then remove it and then you know could be that maybe not but for sure food food what the essential stuff you know gas price gas price is going down here where I am but uh, for maybe, jeez, um, it's the poor people who can afford a hundred dollar. People who needs to work, uh, drive a lot, they cannot pay more than hundred dollar. It was all already over hundred dollar uh, just just past, a few days ago. Now gas prices is going down. And maybe they can increase the tax for gas. Gas. I don't know how. I'm like things got to be paid off for all the money they print, right? Uh, then we have a war because of the war there's also that problem uh, food food is the main problem uh, what else what else 
I feel sorry for people, inflation, uh, housing crisis. Uh, I don't think it's going to affect that much. Maybe uh, some countries uh, or some province or states. Uh, you know, in Canada, maybe it's going to be like uh, Vancouver, places like Vancouver, uh, where pricing is very high. Probably Ontario as well. Quebec, maybe a little bit. House uh, price is going to fall dramatically. That's going to be bad for people who are trying to retir retire with their house. And uh, pro probably uh, they would take that money out and uh, retire or something. But if the house price falls, then what they're paying, that's bad, man. I feel bad about that. Yeah. House, the interest rate, if people who bought house with... Uh, more than what they can chew yeah like if they don't make enough monthly and they're just barely paying the house bills the mortgage bills and the interest rate just goes up to eight percent oh jeez i heard ten percent even up to ten percent i don't think so maybe it's gonna go up to five percent that's not bad but to people who are just paying just the amount just what they make uh, goes just to mortgage and food and bills and uh, yeah they're gonna have hard time they'll have hard time and uh, people will die though in poor countries you know, so that's bad they cannot survive this thing food shortage and all that uh, I don't know how bad it's gonna be and since uh, I don't know. I didn't prepare myself to talk, so I'm not organized. I, I should stop doing all this. I'm talking about it because, you know, this is what's happening. It's like really stuck in my head. This worries me that, you know, uh, that, uh, uh, worries me that if my, my other family members, if they're going to be okay, you know, not, I don't know. I'm just gonna probably just uh, I'm working on uh, recipes so I can make videos about cooking that I've been saying that for like what three years and all that. <laughs> still not doing it I don't know if, if, if I will even have time to do it since most likely I'll have to do more hours of work I'll probably have to put that in pause nah. anyways that's it stay safe guys good luck Bye.